Drake said it. Soon as I'm back in the city, they throw a parade. And on this day, the Drizzy declaration was straight facts. Drake was heavy on the parade playlist, but eventually the national anthem was on repeat. Oh, Canada, we stand on guard for thee. In all my years of life, I've dreamt up but never seen my city like this. Young and old, all colors, cultures and creeds, even canines. Strangers gave hugs and high fives. Everybody was on a wave. The city was on a high. So high, mans were climbing everything. And nobody went to work. It might as well have been a holiday. The fans came out to celebrate the country and the city and the team. But what happened was the team celebrated the fans. We had a PM and an MVP give praise. We had Maasai parting a Red Sea like he was a messiah. The Raptors team just didn't shut down Oracle, they shut down the six. It took them five hours to travel five kilometers and nobody cared because nobody wanted it to stop. They campaigned with champagne, they represented their flags and waved our own. You dream of it and this is it, it's real now. Kawhi got the key to the city and the love shown might be the key to his recruitment. The board man is gonna get paid, but today all that mattered is that he got a parade and got the last lap. Enjoy this moment and have fun with it. Aha, ha, ha, ha. Yeah! And along with him, we laughed, we cheered, we chanted, and we worked on them angles doing it for the gram. It was a moment to capture, not just on social, but in real life. That's why 2 million plus had to see it in person because this is real life. The best country in the world finally has the best basketball team in the world. But what the world learned on this championship parade day, we've had the best fans in the world from time. And now it's our time. Oh, Canada, indeed.